Okay, so we came out. I ain't saying nothing. We'll go around this and 19 foot high. It tells you somewhere. Somebody paid a lot of money for this down at Slow Lee. Slow Lee. Nineteen foot high. I want to say they're about nineteen tons each stone. We'll get to the English part eventually. I think there's a sighting stone you can sight through one of the stars. Someone has put spray foam or something in there. <laughs> and there's an alignment with a star up high. That one. Let's see, there's another alignment here. And the stone. And, and there we'll go with, and I can't see it too well, but do this maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature God reproduction wisely improving fitness and diversity unite humanity with a living new language hmm what's wrong with all these languages I guess they're no good rule passion faith tradition and all things with tempered reason that doesn't sound too bad protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts that would be wonderful if we had that let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. Hmm, okay, I don't know about that. I'll avoid petty laws and useless officials. That's wonderful. If we could get that balance, personal rights with social duties. No, that sounds like socialism. Prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. Being a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature, leave room for nature. Interesting. Center cluster ready March 22nd. There was supposed to be other ones. Guys, tell us in the age of reason. I guess we're in the age of idiocy. Astronomic features. So we'll read about this. Channel through the stone indicates the celestial poles. The horizontal slot is the annual travel of the sun. Sunbeam through capstone marks noontime throughout the year. Okay. Remember, they spelled pseudonym wrong. My shadow's messing everything up. Pseudonym. Nin. Why would you screw up spelling on a granite unless it was intentional? Sponsors a small group of Americans who seek the age of reason. Time size is a little six feet below the spot to be opened on. No date. Who knows when? 19 feet, 3 inches high. 237, 4746 pounds. Four major stones are 16 feet, 4 inches high, each weighing an average of 42,437 pounds. Center stone is 16 feet, 4 inches high, weighs 20,957 pounds. Capstone is 9 feet, 8 inches long, 6 feet, 6 inches wide, 1 foot, 7 inches thick, weighs 24,832 pounds. Support stone's base is 7 feet, 4 inches long, 2 feet wide, 1 foot, 4 inches thick, each weighing an average of 4,875 pounds. Support stone base, 4 feet. Two and a half inches long, two feet, two inches wide, one foot, seven inches thick, weight 2,707 pounds. That's the stones that are 
underneath the uprights. 951 cubic feet of granite. Granite quarried from Pyramid Quarries located three miles west of Elberton. And then here it gives you a layout. So you've got Russian, that was the first language, Chinese, Arabic, Hebrew, Hindi, Swahili, English, and Spanish. Okay. Additional information available at Elberton Granite Museum and Exhibit College Avenue. So really it's, you know, I suppose the mystery of it is what draws people here. Because if they had told you who built it, this, that, and the other, nobody would even care. <laughs> because there's not much reason to come to Elberton, Georgia. Y'all ready to go look at the geodesic dome house? Yeah. All right. Okay, I wanted, I wanted to add an addendum to my Georgia Guidestones video. Because we had a very wonderful visit at the uh, geodesic dome house which is a private residence okay by the way but i had always wanted to go and see who lived in that house because they have one of those homes it's a geodesic dome well it turns out um it is basically a homestead they they have everything set up there they have their own fruit trees they're growing their own vegetables they have a complete solar system well with a hand pump. I mean, they've got everything going on up there. It was really neat meeting those people. And uh, they actually invited us into their house. I guess they figured, you know, we were all right. I mean, they were, it was wonderful. And so they had these inside of the house. I'll flip this around and show it to you in just a minute. And she was talking about how they were planning to open up a shop because they're, they live right across the street from those Georgia Guidestones in that place. He was telling us how it constantly gets traffic and that sort of thing. Now this is like, see that little hook? You think this is a Christmas warning. Let me, let me spin this thing around and let you see what it is. Look at this. <laughs> Very intricately detailed cityscape. Let's zoom in. That's as much as I can zoom with this phone and let me balance my hand on the table to get it a little steadier there. But this is a, I had never seen anything like it. I thought it was interesting. And Angela, my sister's friend who was with us, asked them, hey, would you sell those? Because they had four of these on the shelf. And then they had a very large version of this and some tiny miniature versions of this. And you know, I just never seen anything like, well, this is from a 3D printer. The guy had two very high-end 3D printers inside of his house because he has a business where, you know, he's doing things and, and uh, you know, trying to be an entrepreneur from home because uh, uh, the farming is getting more difficult for them as they're getting older. So I said, well, I'll kind of promote you on my channel. Here's their number. Hawk's Nest Farm. He sells pine straw bales. Um, not many of you would want to get that, but that, that's their phone number. They also sell on Etsy. Now, they had, and I didn't take pictures and video in their house or of them or anything. I didn't ask them for that. Shelves Plus Studio. He showed me some custom laser cut shelving that he made. It's very lightweight, very thin, and it folds up and you could put it in a travel bag that fits on an airplane. And it's made for people that go to shows and have merchandise and things that they want to put on the shelf. No tools required, no screws, and it all fits together perfectly. So here's their information for that. Um, I'm guessing they may have it. There's their Etsy shop, Shelves Plus. And also, Here's their third business that they run out of there. Uh, game gear, tokens, and accessories. So say you have a game that comes with these cardboard uh, tokens or whatever, and they wear out. They had bags full of little uh, tokens that I guess he made with his 3D printer or something to replace the cardboard ones that come with the games. He showed me one for Star Wars. There were some other games. I mean, he had all kinds of stuff. 
but you can check them out. I thought this was neat. I had to have one. So don't know if he'd make you one of these and sell it. He had four. We ended up walking away with three of them. So he's only got one left, plus the really big one. And the really big one was probably 12 inches high. This one is, you know, basically Christmas ornament size. There's my hand, and I don't know, it's only four inches high or so, something like that. But I just thought it was neat, and it's called Dark Side of the Moon. See the moon craters? Because the moon is supposedly hollow. So somebody came up with this idea. I don't know if that's just a 3D model you can get online, and anybody can make this if you had a 3D printer. But he had the highest-end 3D printers I've ever seen a personal person have he had two of them and uh, i just thought it was incredible thought it was neat thought i'd share that with you guys so we made a nice day of it and uh enjoyed stopping at some fruit stands and buying some plants and had some homemade strawberry ice cream it was wonderful so had a great day here in georgia enjoyed it and got out of the house it was fun Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next one.